Christ is risen, he is risen indeed, alleluia. The word of God we want to consider today is our gospel reading for this past Sunday from John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. We're especially looking at the, the last two verses of that reading where Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. My dear friends in Christ, in this reading, Jesus talked about how important and essential it is that we be connected to him, that we're regularly and faithfully receiving spiritual nourishment from him and his word. Now in the last two verses of our reading, we hear this promise that comes from our, sa our Savior. Jesus said, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is Jesus' promise to us, the branches. And just think about what he's saying here. He's giving us a blank check. We can fill in the blank with whatever we may want to put into that blank. But as we fill in the blank, what we do, of course, want to remember is the manner in which we are to go to God in prayer. We know that God is all wise. We know that God always knows what's best for us. And we also know that he always wants to give us what is best for us. So when we go to God in prayer, we can go to God and we can ask him for anything but we'll want to always pray that not our will, but our God's will be done. When we pray that God's will be done, when in faith we pray that God's will be done, we do get whatever we want because, well, we're asking that God's will be done and God's will is always done. We get what's best for us and for our eternal souls. And now what he also says here is that when we remain in Jesus, what we do is we bring glory to God because our lives tell the world that we're Jesus, God's children. The idea here is very much the same today as, as when children are successful. Oh, when, when, uh, uh, when a child graduates or gets married or gets a new job or has anything great that happens in his life when he gets married you know when all of those things happen what sometimes is the case is that it almost seems as if because of the joy and the happiness that they're getting out of it it almost seems as if one or both parents are the ones that instead are getting, are graduating, or getting married, or getting a new job. It almost seems like they're the ones that are getting the success instead of their, their well, adult children, usually we're talking about here. 
Often parents can get more excited about things like this than the, than the children are. And now see, in a sense, that's the joy that our Heavenly Father has in his believing children. That's what Jesus is talking about. He says, this is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. However, when we do have problems and we go to God in prayer, it may happen that that there are times when we don't feel as if God is answering. We may think that he may have heard our, may not have even heard about our prayers because our problems continue on, are not getting solved as fast as we would like them to be solved or in the way that we would like them to be solved. Under those circumstances, it's good for us to hear the prophet Jeremiah's words. He said, The Lord is good to the one whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. God does promise to hear and answer all of our prayers. We often just need a little bit more patience as we wait for his answer which is always going to come at the best possible time and be the best possible answer that God, God can give to us. As the Apostle Paul said, God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. So let's keep clinging to Jesus, the true vine knowing in faith that he's always going to remain in us. He won't abandon us. And he always will give us whatever we ask for when, of course, we are asking that God's will be done, which is what we as believing children of God will always want to ask for. And now what God does want us to do is he does want us to go to him with our specific prayers and requests. But as we think about that, we, we can go to him and be specific with our prayers. But maybe the best prayer that we could pray to our Father is, Dear Heavenly Father, please do for me and for everyone what's best for them and their eternal souls. When we pray like that, then we can know and we can trust and know that we will get what we are asking for. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. This is Jesus' promise to us, the branches. His promise to us, the branches, it's amazing. Without him, of course, we're lost. But with him, we can bear fruit. We can live as children of God. We can fight against sin with him. We can spread the gospel. We can live, survive, and succeed in this sinful world. And through faith in Jesus, we'll, we'll end up in heaven. And we can pray, Dear Heavenly Father, please always do what's best for me and for everyone. And we can know he's going to give us what we're asking for. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for taking us who were spiritually dead branches and attaching us to Jesus, the true vine, so we are spiritually alive and we can pray to you. Dear Heavenly Father, please always do what's best for me and for everyone and trust and know that we will get what we are asking for you for. So, dear Heavenly Father, please always do what's best for us and for everyone. 
We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.